Great. Okay, so hello again. Uh, thank you everyone for coming and especially to all of you that you are in different time zones. I know it's very hard, especially when you're working with people from all over the world, trying to find uh, an hour that works with everyone is almost impossible. So I try to find a time that is kind of okay in many time zones, but I don't know how much I succeeded. So yeah, thank you very much for uh, your participation. I'm very happy. A little bit about me. Uh, I am Rania. I am 23 years old and I am from Athens, Greece. I was st I'm studying in Athens Industrial Management and Technology. And I started an internship in GIG this October. So this is my first month working with them. I will be here for six months in Berlin. And I'm very excited about it. I really like what GIG is doing. And I'm really happy that they are able to take me as their intern and teach me some things and meet their network and see all of this. It's a very nice learning experience for me. And yes, who else wants, would like to introduce himself? If anyone else wants to say something about themselves, uh, introduce themselves because I'm still very new and I don't know many of you, it would be very nice. I can kick things off a little bit. Um, yes. My name is Saad, I'm based in Singapore, a uh, long time gigger, and I was part of the and I'm very excited to see um, uh, what we, what Caribou's the reboot has in store. Um, I'm in Singapore, I do many things. The, um, my day job is in tech. I run a small tech company. Uh, we focus on the digital divide. And on, on weekends, I work with assistive uh, devices, 3D printing and digital fabrication for persons with disabilities and their caregivers. So very careful kind of work. Yeah, hey, that's very that interesting. Means. I really like it. Thank you for sharing with us. And um, I'm looking forward to hear more about your work as we continue. And unless, anyone else wants to introduce themselves, maybe you can pass it on to someone. So it's more easy to flow. Or... Yeah. Um, Audrey, Adriana, you okay to share next? Sure. Um, yeah, I think um, Rania, we knew each other when you start your internship. So I am Adriana Cabrera. I work in um, in Germany, in uh, Matrix, but in the past I work very um, close with with Geek, and now as a member. Uh, uh, so I am very project also with Kerables. So we have a uh, yeah. I am very uh, close with the Fab community, and we uh, since two thousand nineteen. We start this initiative from care, from Fab Care, together with Fab Lab Open Doors, and especially with Enrico Vasi, um, because we had uh, several um, projects uh, working together very close, but we saw this um, lack of communication in between the labs, uh, having the similar challenges, and so we have now. Um, we are very excited to to see what, what happened also in Caravals, of course, uh, it's like a family, you know, so we hope uh, we can do things together. And yeah, so uh, yeah, um, that's yeah, a, a little bit of a background about uh, the interest. Thank you. You're and of course, we were in the... Sorry. Sorry, I forgot to say that we were in the in the in the uh, Fab City Challenge together with Sad. We work together with a very nice uh, project uh, around Alu. So Sad can also introduce a little bit more later. I would love to hear more. Sounds very interesting. I'm very excited that uh, you seem so involved to get a place. The... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So very nice to, to be here. Anyone else wants to continue to introduce themselves and tell us about what they're working on? I can continue. Uh, 
Um, Hi. Um, <laughs> I very much uh, want to emphasize what Adriana said. This feels like family, so it's, it's good to be here. Thank you very much. Once upon a time, I was one of the co founders of GIG, um, and the last year and a half, I spent on a mobile makerspace project in Ukraine where the topic of assistive technologies excited about it because especially during the last one and a half years I've worked a lot with um, also emergency um, relief organizations that focus on medical emergency relief technical emergency relief and saw a lot of um, use cases for carables, not the organization, but the things we make. And um, during the course of this all, I let myself get employed by a um, NGO in Hamburg and in of the things um, that one of these people that I now know is like one of the things that's happening is an open MRI machine that's being built. Um, so that's also quite interesting. Um, um, that is the Ukrainian Obama Mega State Project in Ukraine. Um, yeah, but mostly excited to listen to everybody else. And with that, I want to pass the microphone on to Martin. Are you here? Yes, I'm here. Hello. Uh, it's only that I'm I'm traveling, so so uh, you might hear some noise from the background. Don't worry about it. So, did, did, did you want me to introduce myself? Yes. Yes. Um, so, my name is Martin Olo. Um, I'm the founder of Fab Lab Winam, uh, which is um, a Fab Lab based in Kenya, in Kisumu. And um, I'm also serving in the board of uh, Global Innovation Gathering. So, at Fab Lab, we are very keen about wearables. And... Um, Currently, we have been participating in a program uh, under distributed manufacturing, um, nine, nine maker spaces in Africa. That is three in Ghana, three in South Africa, and three in Kenya. And some of the things that uh, we are currently working on include writing aid, which is able to help uh, people with challenges with their limbs to help in writing. We are also are uh, working on other hospital related items like um, the rack for um, uh, test tube racks and uh, tubular um, uh, and, uh, um, a bundle that can be used for teaching on fractures and things like that. Thank you. Thank you. It sounds very interesting. And if you could like when you have the time, because I understand now you're traveling to share some links about the things you're working on and everyone. With if they want to send some links, everything sounds very interesting. I would love to read more about it later. So thank you for sharing, Martin, even though you're traveling and you made it to the call. I'm very happy to have you here. Who wants to continue? Hello, everyone. Hello. Um, this is Ravin. I'm the founder and the manager of Sula Innovation House, which is a co-working space and a fab lab um, located in the Kurdistan region of Iraq. Um, so we have been uh, like operating since the beginning of 2022. Um, since then, uh, we have been delivering so many trainings and activities. Um, and our latest involvement was like designing um, special items for a kids autism center, including entertainment games and activities with our students. Um, so yeah, we have submitted the first 50 bunch for testing and then we are planning to do more of them. Um, in a very near future. Um, yeah, it's nice to be here uh, and it's nice to see that the Caribbean initiative is starting over again and we're um, doing these sorts of meetings. Um, yeah. 
Sounds very, very interesting. Wow. And I see you. Okay. Amazing. Also, if you could share some links of your work, it would be amazing. And anyone else wants to introduce themselves? <laughs> I don't know if someone that has hello, the... hello everyone. Hello. Yes. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you very much for this opportunity. My name is Mustafa and uh, I work with Nonihub Makerspace, which is based in Ghana, West Africa. And also I'm a member of GIG and my hub and the Makerspace are also members of GIG. So over the past few years, we've also been working in the makerspace uh, ecosystem, trying to post on innovations and then identify local problems here and then we put it up and then try to solve them here in the locality where we are in Ghana. So basically, these are some of the few works we do here and we've been part of uh, I think for about a year now. and actively participating in all the meetings, the webinars, and following up with all activities that are concerned with gig, and also try to see how we can contribute to the growth of the gig community at large. Yeah, so that's how Nani have Makerspace. We do currently, I'm out of office. I'm in a different Makerspace, actually. I'm, I'm working on setting up and repairing some machines here, 3D printers and digital cutting. I'm in the city of Ghana, Accra. I'm going back soon to Wa, uh, maybe in the next few months. Yeah, so there is me anytime. You, you, you'd see me, you might be seeing me in a makerspace 90% of the time. Apart from that, you will see me. Apart from that, I might be in the house or maybe in the farm. These are the only three places. I exist most of most of my time. So yes, that's 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 me, Mustafa. Thank you. Thank you, Mustafa. It's I love that you have a, your three places that you feel good and you have the opportunity to create and feel relaxed and comfortable. And thank you for sharing. And please share some links of your work. It would be very nice. And on else wants right. to introduce themselves. No. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know, maybe Taima wants to, yeah, I'm very happy to see Taima is in the call as well. She's been very helpful from the beginning of my internship, very supportive. Thank you for joining us. Yes, I could give a very brief introduction of myself. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, I'm Shaima. I'm the communications and outreach lead of GIG. I started actually with GIG uh, last January, January 2023. And I'm happy to be here to learn more about Caribou's as well. Uh, that's it, I think. Thank you, Saima. Do you have okay. any questions? <laughs> So uh, I was thinking uh, a nice way to continue is to like see a video that there is in the Careable website that I recently learned uh, that Fadia, which is uh, working for Geek, I think everybody knows here, created a few years ago. And it's a very nice video explaining what uh, Careable is and their mission. So I would like to share my screen and show the video. Okay, one second. Can you see my screen? Yes. Perfect. Yes. I think the video wants to.
That was the video. I hope uh, the presentation was successful. I never shared my screen before in Zoom. Hope everybody was able to see it. I think it's a very interesting video. I've watched it a lot of times already. I think I will learn it by heart after some point. But I really like that it explains what Kerable are in a simple way. It has a very nice, it's a very nice video. So it was very inspiring to see. So with that in mind, I would like to ask you if you want to share some thoughts about Kerablus, what, why makes you want to help this project, participate, help reviving it, like what makes you feel, gives you the boost to help today and participate and join this call. For example, I can start and uh, before joining a uh, geek and finding out about Kerablus, I didn't really knew the concept of open source hardware technology. It was um, a concept that I wasn't familiar with. Then I learned about open source hardware technology and a, new, a whole new world like open in front of my eyes. And I found it very interesting that um, there is a way to help people and uh, create solutions for people that it need, that they can also fit uh, their needs. And their... so it's very interesting to see that there is a platform and many platforms out there that make tailor-made solutions and help people with disabilities. They feel it's something that it's needed to be more uh, known and many people should know about it because, for example, I didn't know it and I think, feel many people don't know it and it would be very nice to find a way to spread the message and be to the world. Listen, there is this platform and there is this thing that's called Kerbals and there is this whole concept, open source hardware technology. If you're in need, we can help you. We can co-create, we can find solutions to your problem because people with disabilities, it's very hard to find the strength. And they feel that they're trapped and it's very nice to open this whole new world of opportunities. So yeah, that's a little bit from my side. Who else want to tell why they felt like I don't know, helping or participating or creating Kerables. So if anyone would like to share their thoughts and why they started working on Kerables, it would be very nice and inspiring. Okay, we can... Hello. Can, can I go first? Sure. Yes, of course. Yes, um, my concern, especially on things related with health, is that uh, in Kenya and generally in the county where I come from, uh, the procurement process of 
uh, hospital related items or human related items is very difficult. And uh, of course, Kenya is importing over 90% of, 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 of what we use. We are a net importing company. I mean, net importing um, country. So we import almost everything. And uh, we were asking ourselves, we have a makerspace. How can we provide solutions to, to the community? We have children's home with children with disabilities. And how, do, how can we make, how can we bring the cost lower? And how can we participate in making something that others can um, definitely replicate and use easily? So this is where we come from. And uh, we are very keen on um, having this. And we are already trying to attract attention of um, the Ministry of Health to have a discussion on how we can make some of these things locally available. Because you can imagine um, a pregnant woman in, in a, a local uh, local dispensary um, um, and then cannot cannot get services of maybe fetoscope because the, the facility had one fetoscope. And then procurement process will take over four months up to six months before such a facility is provided. So this lady will miss the necessary services all through. But if we have a makerspace which can um, build up something very fast and uh, provide that solution on time, then why not try that? So this is where our passion comes from. Thank you. Yeah, it's very inspiring. It's very nice to hear. I feel like it really depicts the point of this initiative and it's very nice. Anyone else would like to continue? Thank you again, Martin. It was very nice. Hello, everyone. I hope you can hear me. Hello. Yes. Hey, I, I, my name is Jar. Um, I'm from Tanzania. We run a design lab called the Design Studio. I'm really impressed of what you're doing. And uh, we are actually doing almost a similar thing. We are actually creating solutions for health in our uh, resource settings. Currently, we are working on creating uh, low cost uh, machines for helping neonates to reduce the mortality rate. Yes, uh, like my previous speakers from Kenya, is the same challenge, but what we do, we use what we have. So, to fabricate and to create a solution to for low resource settings such as radiant trauma, therapies, and other measures required by the community. So uh, I hope we can have a conversation or like a kind of a, you know, after this call, maybe we can just talk. I'll just share my email on this, uh, on, the, on the chat here. It's very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone else would like to share? Okay, so I would also like to remind that, okay, we always have the chat, so you can also share your LinkedIn or links that you feel that they're familiar or anything that you want to share or you think is relevant or, or it's not relevant, whatever you want. I will uh, gather all the information and then share it in the group chat. I will try to make a nice summary of this call so we can all have it and go through it if we want. And yes, if anyone again wants to share what, uh, like if anyone else wants to share why they wanted to join Careblues or why they helped creating them, or we can continue discussing how we can uh, work on reviving them, whatever you want. So if anyone else wants to share their thoughts or feelings or inspirations. Sad, want to? Yeah, um, just to uh, add on, I think um, the um, work that we do at Makerspaces and the members in GIG uh, is the source of most of my inspiration for what uh, we're doing here in Singapore. Um, the fact that, you know, you have uh, like what Martin and um, uh, Josh Joel said that you know you work with what you have access to, where you are, and try and find a way to engage people um, in meaningful ways. And maker spaces are exactly that. And if you look at the healthcare side, uh, there is a huge gap. 
And we're seeing that even in Singapore, and the nature of this gap tends to be different. Um, but the challenge that I am trying to deal with, uh, at, with uh, at the Makerspace is similar in that we try and work with uh, what we have and bring people in to the space and um, have a conversation uh, that is meaningful and tangible. So we use the prototyping approach to understand what the needs are of the individual, uh, either the person with disability or the person who is caring for somebody with a disability. Uh, we bring them into the conversation and say, look, these are the things um, like um, that we can download and 3D print. Um, we can uh, use them as an example of how you can create your own solution. Um, so the idea of involving the person in, in the design process and turning them into co-creators rather than just waiting for a solution to come from a medical company or waiting for a solution that is usually expensive um, that tends to be not very um, sustainable and you create a dependency on medical companies that way. Uh, instead, we try and find a way to bring the person into the co-creation process. So the process is what uh, inspires me to keep doing this. And uh, we've seen examples where small little things that are 3D printed uh, change a person's everyday activities. And um, that's very motivating for volunteers that I work with uh, to keep coming back on a weekly basis and then finding ways to change that small little thing that they made uh, and make improvements to it because they see that you know it's being used every day. Um, so the person uh, that the personal connection is more important than the the fact that we have three printers or the stuff that we're making. Uh, the connection between the volunteer and the caregiver that's that's really uh, the secret sauce, I think, of the carable um, that we make. So um, if we can bring back carables and deepen this connection a little bit more, I think it'll be wonderful. I would be very happy as well, and really like that you use the words called creation and connection. I think it's very important and really so what Carable is about. And thank you for sharing. And it's very inspiring to see what you're working on being used and people being helped. I think it's the most rewarding feeling. So yes, and I see Adriana is raising her hand. So if she wants to continue. Yes, I'm sorry because I am not sure if um the connection is not not really uh, good but uh, yeah so i just want to to mention that um, i would like to to understand a little bit more about what could you imagine as geek already because i know that we you just uh, let's say in the geek group um um we had this topic to revive carables, but in which form do you think this project will revive? It's already like a kind of a opportunity that we can really do something uh, around it. Uh, maybe that would be, um, because I think that there are several ideas around the, the topic also, especially as I mentioned, at the very beginning, uh, we would like to really collaborate with uh, Fabcare. I think also maybe Enrico have uh, the opportunity also to exchange with Sandra, but um, in a sense, it would be very nice to understand a little bit more how we could really um, integrate these efforts and, or, or yeah, so what, what could, what do you imagine or what is the opportunity that we can extend through Keravolts in the next close uh, and long future? Okay, so for me, it's very important to first try to understand what is Kerable, see who wants to help, and then try to continue by finding more partners would be very nice and more funding opportunities so we can find what we are working on. But I'm still very new to the project. So I'm still trying to understand the whole concept and trying to build like a structure on how to rebuild them and revise them. That's why I called you all here. So maybe you can share uh, people that we can partner with, funding opportunities or ideas. That's why that's like the first um, goal of this uh, call and the main goal to have like a brainstorming session on how we can uh, succeed on reviving. 
And I see, like also Jaima is mentioning, that we can brainstorm together. And I think that is that would be very helpful. So we can continue if anyone has any ideas about people that we can partner or funding opportunities or anything they want to share because it takes a lot of work to bring back a project and it's something I'm still learning. So I would like to have the help and I feel you're all very experienced and you have a lot of knowledge and you can help me coordinate um, this and also Again, Jaima is suggesting new products that we need to implement that's very important. So I would like to hear your thoughts. If anyone has like an idea, a funding, partners, new products, some goal, a vision. We can take some time and brainstorm. If anything comes up, you can always share it in the WhatsApp group. I see Fadi is here. So yeah. And yeah. also, yes. Now I know about the uh, a uh, sad maker space, a uh, savage garden. I read, uh, I read about uh, this coin holder you made for uh, people with with uh, having a this having a hard time handling coins, and I found it very interesting. This is all very inspiring. So, yeah, Andriana, I, I think I interrupt you. Wow, I see it in person. I really liked it. Um. Yes, I, I just want to to add maybe that um just in order to to see because we have already some material also even uh, during the pandemic we for example we wanted to do a um kind of ideation and manifesto in open source uh, assisted devices with um uh, with Emilio and I think that there are many also information that maybe we can just gather. I suggest that maybe we can just start with a kind of a document or mural in which we can gather all these ideas, especially in different sense, because I think that we have one area that is more focused on development of uh, assisted devices, another that is about the community and about the questions that we have around the community. Uh, around people who want to engage, uh, not only about the people with the disabilities, but also about the the ones who need uh, are a company, you know, so that that's something that it was very nice um, suggest also in the in the in the carables at the ideation, uh, but also at the same time what 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 is about the the labs and maybe how to continue in working on it yeah so people with with, with risk i mean so let's say in a, in, a, in a form of a community gathering also what how we could support i think that there are many these different points that maybe we, we need to just um continue in, in building these resources and maybe how we could because i think that what it's also beautiful for for geek is that we have this um, network with different places in which we have these different challenges in that, for example, here in Germany, we have a lot of resources or maybe in other places or hospitals uh, or even, for example, in, in, in Bhutan, they have only just two uh, physiotherapists in the whole country. Imagine how we could really address such a challenges. And I think that maybe in this way, we could, or, or also even as Victoria mentioned, for example, in Ukraine, how we could support. I think that that would be important to really deep go in deep on these challenges and maybe point on on these ones in in a document so that yes. will help us to um, continue the conversation. Um, 
that would be my suggestion. Yes, I think it's a very nice idea. We'll create a document that we can all edit and add some ideas and work on it. Thank you, Adriana, for all your suggestions. They were all very interesting. And yeah, I feel like everybody has so many things to offer and so many new informations. They didn't knew like the problem put down with the physiotherapist. I wasn't even could imagine that this is possible to happen. So there are many problems that we can address and we there are many ways that we can help. So it's going to be very helpful to gather them and try to work step by step. Thank you. So uh, I see also Sad is writing the chat. Yeah, just just to chime in and say that, you know, I think for brainstorming, I've done this before with MiroBot. They seem to work really well. Um, uh, it very quickly um, uh, gathers what the room has to offer in a more practical kind of way. Um, but it needs to have some kind of a format or a template. And, uh, okay. A mm -hmm. So if, uh, if, if that's something that you can facilitate and plan out, that then yes. would be a good idea as a follow-up to this meeting. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a very good idea. I understand what you're saying. I will do that. Thank you for the suggestion. I think it's going to be much helpful. So we can uh, plan the next uh, meeting and be more organized. And I will prepare the board and we can all uh, share and write. It would be very nice. Thank you, Sad, again for your help. So uh, if anyone else wants to share something, share an idea, ask a question, I'm not sure if I can respond to the question, but many people have uh, a lot of knowledge about the project that they can answer. So if anyone wants to ask or share something on, I don't know, give some feedback, would be very nice. Uh, yeah, hi. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, hi. Uh, I am just preaching from India. Uh, so I would like to share about uh, myself. So I'm working in the global connectivity and uh, we are developing affordable broadband solutions. So... Uh, and uh, we are also trying to establish one makerspace lab here in rural parts of India. And uh, currently, I'm engaged with one Twinkler's lab in one school uh, where uh, we're trying to uh, share that Kerables project, that kit which uh, we have to make, the Kerables kit. Yeah, that's very yeah, nice. And, uh, love, yeah, I would love to collaborate with anyone if anyone needs any help or collaboration regarding any uh, stuff uh, in in uh, developing the rural areas or the connectivity, I'm happy to help. Thank, Thank you. you. That's uh, very inspiring to hear. And also, it was very nice to see in the Kerablus group chat that Fadia sent uh, that she met someone that is actually producing some Kerablus equipment. So these are things that actually gives inspiration and uh, yeah, I feel like these little things are very inspiring. So, yes. If anyone again wants to share anything, and if not, uh, maybe I would like to ask if you would like to keep uh, the Kerablus group chat in WhatsApp. Does it work for you? Is it a good platform to communicate? Do we can uh, arrange the next meetup? for the next month uh, with the, the board to share notes. In the meantime, everyone can share links, articles they like, ideas, questions, whatever, um, through the WhatsApp group. And yes. So I don't know if anyone else wants to add anything. Okay, if not, do you...
Yes, WhatsApp, I think it's, it's good. Maybe you can just keep the conversation there. Okay, perfect. Let's not... Okay, great. Thank you. So, um, yes. Thank you, everyone, for your time. If anyone else wants to say anything, feel free. But I feel, I don't know, we covered many things. It was very nice meeting you all, hearing about your work, what you're doing. Maybe if you could share your LinkedIn to read more about your work, or I will find you through Gig's website, if I will do that, and see what you're working on uh, with more focus. And uh, thank you for sharing all the links and all the information and for the help. I was very happy to have you, and thank you for your time again. And I think, I don't know, we can say it was the first successful uh, meetup. We covered some basic things. Now we have a more specific plan on how we can continue. Maybe we can keep the meetup monthly and keep it on the first uh, Thursday of each month. So again, in December, where we will have the shared document, shared ideas, share how we can continue. And I think that's it from my side, if anyone else wants to add something as a, yes, feel free. I would also gather uh, all the information from the recording I made and uh, categorize them, save your links and make them in a nice document so we can have some uh, document of what was discussed today and give all this nice information saved. So maybe can review them before the next meeting. So yes, I think that's all from me. Uh, thank you everyone again last time. <laughs> for uh, joining and yeah i hope you have a nice rest of the day whatever evening afternoon morning i don't know whatever time and thank you again for your time it was very nice meeting you all thank you rania thank you thank you bye thank you all see you again soon bye 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 see you next time bye, -bye.